asking you in your position as Director of HR, were you afraid to question D Forbes? I wasn't afraid of D Forbes. You weren't afraid of her. You absolutely weren't. So that means then, that is clear enough then. That means that you just didn't do your job. You weren't afraid to question her. You knew what she was doing was wrong and you did not do your job. That's, that's, in, that's it in a nutshell. Mr. Backhurst, what do you think on hearing that? That a member of your executive board hadn't done their job, wasn't afraid to hold the former director general to account, just didn't do her job? Yeah, I've spoken. And then, uh, and just, just to say, we're talking about trust. Yeah. Now, the public hear this, and they're going to see that that executive is still on the board, yeah. still in the same position, and has literally no excuse for not doing their job, was complicit in this all the way along. Yeah, I, d I don't think, um, I've spoken to Ema about this a lot. Um, I think Ema recognises she did question it. She probably should have questioned it more. I think it's important to remember that um, this was the chief executive to someone who joined the organisation a relatively short time, instructing her to do it and instructing her working with the CFO, who was a peer of Ema's at the time, who was overseeing financial aspects of the scheme. I think Ema recognises that this shouldn't have happened. I would say one thing, Deputy, um, which is, from what I've discovered about RT, this is the way the organisation was run, in a siloed way, with decisions being taken outside of the normal routes, avoiding governance, not going through the executive, not going to board when they should. 